In this video, I will show you how to download, upload and manage your files using SFTP. If you are a web designer, developer, you are prob probably familiar with using S uh, FTP. SFTP is very similar to that. It's, it is just a more secure way to share files. Uh, to access your files using SFTP, you will simply have to use a FTP client. A very famous FTP client is FileZilla. You can go to Google and search for FileZilla. It is a very tiny little software. Download FileZilla client and install it to your computer or you can use a more advanced software like Flash FXP which is which has better speeds but FileZilla is good enough for beginners and most basic tasks. In this video, I'll be using Flash FXP. So let's start. Go to the start menu and open Flash FXP. Here is the interface of Flash FXP. If you are uh, using FileZilla it will look very similar to this this one simply go to the connect option quick connect connection type uh, by default it is FTP but we are going to use the SFTP over SSH and your port number which is we have not changed our port number so it is 22 here we will add our IP address which is this and then your username which is root and your password and then click connect click on accept and save now we are inside our root folder let's go back From here, we can browse all of our all of our, our files on our Ubuntu server. If you can remember from our pre previous videos, our all all of our website files are located inside the var folder, and then the www folder, and then select your domain name, and then the public HTML folder. From here you can see all of your website files which are on bollywood5.com these are actually the PHP files of WordPress from here you can edit or upload just like you use FTP on your uh, managed server or managed web hosting this is very similar to that the only difference is that this is FTP it stands for secure FTP and other things are all same just make sure you you go to the correct directory where your website files are located that's all for this tutorial see you in the next video